So. All right, let's do. So okay. Keemstar's retiring. <clears throat> Everyone, uh, please clap. Why would I? In clap? the words of Jeb, why would I clap for that? It's my best friend, Jeb Bush. It's my. <laughs> it's one of my best friends retiring right there. Nice Shredder. Wait, what is this? Keemstar joins the live stream. Oh, that was just that live stream that he joined and uh, gave us some more cringe Hello. before he left. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah. So what's the timeline of this? This is the lead up to before he retired, AB. Correct. So what's the framing here? How do we frame this up? Um, well, if you just want to watch some Keem Cringe before we Keem watch his retirement video. Keemstar loves pulling into shows of dudes. With tiny followings. And closets and basements. <laughs> <laughs> and like, he's just so well connected. I mean, I, not, no disrespect to this guy. I don't know anything about him. Uh, you know, he might be a great content creator. I, I don't know. But chances are if Keem Seems starts, to really dislike Keem from what I could tell. Maybe. So He does? Yeah. Oh, well, God bless him then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to beat her. Well, let me just hold my judgment then. What's up, clown? What's up? I, I guess we're doing the insults right away? Well, yeah, you're a fucking clown. Like oh. a fucking circus over here. Oh, this is a recent okay. thing? Yeah, yeah <laughs> but it sounds... Star, you yeah. really spend your time this watching this dude and then calling him, what's up, clown? I mean, what? No wonder this guy retired. He's such a good one. <laughs> this guy has no life. You must have no life to spend your day doing this. Here. Dude, when I interviewed, okay, Omni Wrecker, whatever his name is, he's telling a story about everything that happened between him and H2O and the allegations that came out. And he but he's got a beef with a guy named H2O now, too? H2 <laughs> and H3. He's got beef with water. <laughs> water. You must hate the letter H, man. Right. He's, and he's, I'm interviewing him, right? You uploaded a stream over here, and you sat there, and you fucking got on your knees to lick the ball sweat off of everybody in the fucking crew. You had Wildcat on here, fucking everyone. You had like 30,000 people in this stream, and you were like, guys, everybody's trying to attack H2O. Keemstar's lying, go H2O. You broke YouTube rules. You're lucky I didn't fucking, someone didn't turn you in for this. You're oh, 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 oh. Self report. Oh my God. Self report. So, wait, what? He, he said, "Here, lucky I didn't. Somebody uh, uh, didn't turn you in for this." He <gasps> said, "You're breaking all the rules." Wow, dude, he's such a fucking Karen star. We, th this is the biggest self report. More people need to see this. I don't <laughs> want to see all everybody defending him. Dream, and you were like, guys, everybody's trying to attack H2O. Keemstar's lying, go H2O. You broke YouTube rules. You're lucky I didn't fucking, someone didn't turn you in for this. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Karen Star running to that mommy YouTube as always. He really flipped that really uh, quick. Like, <laughs> not quick enough. Holy shit. Is it already time for typing? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> You're doing a live stream. You're telling people multiple times, go over and dislike Team Star's video. Fucking number one fucking rule against YouTube. You can't do that shit. You're lucky. It says who, bitch ass fucking lame star? He's so about the rules all of a sudden. Ethan. How about, yeah, saying yeah. everyone go tweet at Ethan Death to All Jews. Yeah. Right. Um. What a whiny bitch. <laughs> You're crying because this dude said go dislike Team Star's videos. I'll say it. No, I'm not going to say it. What I will say. <laughs> is it, I don't give a fuck if you. I honestly don't care. I don't care if you dislike Kim Star's videos. I don't give he a fuck. Anyway. I mean, don't watch his videos. I'm sure. basically Hitler. <laughs> I'm sure I can say that. Don't watch Keemstar videos. You didn't get a fucking strike on that, you dumb fucker. Dude, and look, all these people in the chat saying boomer, mad, laughing out loud. You're the fucking idiots that listen to this clown. He fucking got you hook, line, and sinker. You stupid motherfucker, subscribe to this fucking idiot, right? Then his channel starts dying, right? Because he stops sucking the dick of the fucking... He doesn't fucking stop well, talking. Curious. Yeah, it's amazing. This is his life. Uh, yeah, Crazy. he's so angry at what? It's like, oh, he's innocent, guys. He's innocent. He's innocent. And then, you know, views oh. are down. Then he hooks you fucking morons in the chat again by saying, oh, wait, actually, he's fucking guilty. Actually, Omni right, uh, Wrecker is fucking right. Dude, listen, you're a fucking clown. 
all these people in the fucking <laughs> crowd are fucking stupid. Dude, you're all dumb. You're all being fucking used by this idiot. I wouldn't listen to a fucking word he says. He's on the wrong side of the history. We got the clips. We got the streams. We got all to prove it. Nobody's fucking crying. I'm laughing at your giant fucking failure, kid. And by the way, about you being like clout hungry and like sitting there and I'm defending the How fucking crew and they're yeah, doing all that just so you he's can like a wind up He's not poet. even breathing. Like it doesn't take a minute to. He's a Mongolian throat singer of talking shit. <laughs> and by the way. <laughs> yeah, he's like a wind up tall of a wind up toy of hate and insecurity. <laughs> And subs and all that and now and now when things are turning the other way oh i think he's guilty guys i think he's going down clout suck it again now you want to sit here and say i love the box keemstar who the fuck are you first of all I, first of all i'm not getting in the ring with anyone other than h3 h3 but dude more keep dreaming cloud <laughs> sucking you cloud demon fucking loser I cloud demon you're the one trying to get in a box room with me bitch like, that's pretty clout demon-y to me. He's the I one calling clout. in to some random live stream. Yeah, you called into his show. <laughs> <laughs> you called into his show. This is unreal, man. This is good Keemstar shit right here. I'm not getting in the fucking ring with you. You're a failure. You were wrong the first time. You're probably going to get something wrong this time. You're Imagine dating him. Rules. You just listen to this all day, basically. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. 24-7. <laughs> right. Suck a dick. Bye. <laughs> I didn't want to laugh too loud when so, he was in here. <laughs> Keem, every time I've seen him in a stream, he does this. He'll talk his shit, and he'll hang up, and mm -hmm. then he'll see that the other person keeps talking, and he'll call back in to defend himself. <laughs> no way. Yeah, so he does that in this stream. Mm -hmm. He calls back yeah, in. I, I have it time stamped. In By the, the way, shout out to TJV. I, uh, no... Nope. He's, no shout no outs. Shout outs. Oh shit. People no are shout like, outs. Actually, actually, he advocates this for the guy genocide of. Uh, <laughs> just bit his girlfriend the day <laughs> yeah. before you said right, shout well, out. Okay, no shout Sh outs. Shout out pending. <laughs> yeah. This, well, the, I'll just say this. Goes, the yeah. channel is TJV. Okay. <laughs> he left the call. He's out. He left the call. <laughs> I sent the timestamp in Discord of when he comes back in. So he's. Man. I'm just saying, this guy has a daughter, he's single, he could be working on himself in some way, <laughs> and this is what he's doing. Right. It's pretty amazing. This is his thumbnail? This is a hell of a thumbnail, man. <laughs> this is kind of the worst thumbnail I've ever seen. Keem, would you like to talk this time? I'm gonna keep talking about breaking a scoop. I like broke a, a scoop months ago. It's like when we sampled Joe Rogan. Yeah, it really is. And he is. keeps talking and you can't talk. He's that in real life. Yeah. On fucking Drobler when I interviewed Omni Record. What are you saying? So, so you what? said you said Delirious had alt accounts what back then, right? Break? So you said what scoop did you break? What scoop did you break? Uh, the whole alt account. I saw the email. I saw the proof. Omni Record did. Omni Record did. Where where did he break that scoop? This at? guy's in. He came All in like over such Twitter. deep drama. I don't even know what they're talking about. Do you? <laughs> I have no clue what they're talking about. <laughs> I saw the screenshots. Yeah, so that was pretty good. All that self report was legendary. <laughs> um, here is his retire video. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to the YouTube channel so you can see views and such. Uh, I quit. By the way, you guys, um, do you guys uh, see the inspiration for our thumbnail today? <laughs> Why are there two more videos after I quit? Because this motherfucker is not retiring, he said, till his 40th birthday. Which is? In March. What? I don't think he's going to leave. I think it's all publicity stuff what to get his views up. But anyway, listen to him, cr this, this man cry for 12 minutes. It's Keemstar, awesome. Keemstar, shut Alert up. Nation, I'm your host, Killer <laughs> Keemstar, and I quit. <laughs> I can't believe that people actually like that. Or maybe they like that he's leaving. Yeah, I don't know. That's what it is. You think so? Yeah, that's why that tweet has the most likes <laughs> that he gets. Turns out the only man who could ever cancel Kim Star was himself. That's what I was saying. But Kim complains about cancel culture. Me literally think about how Kim destroyed people like Basher through the use of cancel culture. Yeah, let's watch. That's right. Yesterday I announced my retirement. It's been 
almost 14 years in January. I'll be 14 years that I have been a YouTuber. I started being one great joke about that was that his career started to uh, get too old for him. <laughs> for his own day. Yeah, for his own day. <laughs> YouTuber. Uh, at Can you age crank it a little bit? Give me a little volume. So had a little Thank bit you. of a late start and. Quite frankly, um, I'm not having fun anymore. You oh. know, I started off my YouTube career as a, as a gaming troll, making trolling videos all the way back in uh, 2009. A lot of trash talk, a lot of entertainment. And when I moved into... By the way, I wish I could show what he means by trash talk uh -huh. and entertainment. It's him calling black people to their face the N-word. Lots of entertainment. Trolling. Lots of laughs. Entertainment. We do, a little, we, do a little, we do a little trolling. We do a little <laughs> trolling. Doing Drommeler, right? You know, it was the same thing. You know, Banner. people were talking trash. You know, we're we like covering the tweets back and forth. And it was fun. A lot of fun drama. But recently... Not fun for anybody except Yeah, again, Kickstar. fun drama is like Basher wanting to end his life. Yeah, it was so Etika fun. ending his life. Bullying an old man. Bo to calling <laughs> an old man a pedophile falsely. Fun. Trying to ruin my life. So uh, fun. We have a bit of fun. We have a bit of a laugh. You're a bit of trolling. Yeah. <laughs> Things have changed quite a bit, and I, it started around the time of the pandemic. As oh, and don't forget his, his, yeah, it was called the Federation of Asshole Gamers. You can put the acronym together for yourself. Epic. Mm. Edgy. Mm. Is when things got pretty bad. You know, there was a shift in the culture where cancel culture was became like this overpowering powering thing and people went after youtubers sponsors you know like really trying to just ruin them financially and that caused everyone to stop speaking their mind right that that caused everyone to be a walking talking commercial all right you got guys like bryce hall uh -huh. who i guess is edgy he doesn't really seem that edgy to me uh but then you have I mean, no he hasn't bullied anyone into suicide right that's a special class uh, that only Keemstar uh, belongs to. In our opinion. Right, sure. Keemstar, you're guilty of it. Yeah, I mean, it's up for debate. I mean, but, mm -hmm. all, you know. Talking commercial, all right? Yeah, but obviously his chapter with Etika is, is one of the worst things that's ever happened on YouTube. And if you don't know about it, just look, read about it. It's like, yeah. You got guys like Bryce Hall, who I guess is edgy. He doesn't really seem that edgy to me. Uh, but then you have Noah Beck coming out saying, I don't want to make videos with Bryce Hall because I feel like it might hurt our brand deals. That's what we're dealing with. So <laughs> who is Noah Beck? Well, you don't know. This yeah, I don't, He goes on this weird tirade about how Noah Beck is ruining, ruining uh, online culture because he doesn't <laughs> want to collab with douchebag Bryce Hall. It's the same reason no one wants to collab with you, Keemstar. You're a toxic bitch fucking shit stain. Like, it's the same reason Aiden Ross and all of his friends don't want to sit in the same room as you either. You're embarrassing. You you are a view, retract, you, you, you're like the, the cooler. You know, you know that, how uh, there was that movie about this guy, they put him next, he's so unlucky, he's such a wet towel. They put him next to guys who are on a hot streak at the casino and he makes oh. them lose just by <laughs> being near them. <laughs> Keemstar is a cool YouTube cooler. This guy's a robot. <laughs> what what does Noah Beck think about anything? You don't know. Like I, I don't fucking care either. Guess what? Why do you robot. care? Yeah, why do you care what Noah Beck thinks about anything? What does Ja Rule think about this? <laughs> we forgot to ask Ja Rule. Um, there's a funny comment here. His teenage girlfriends must love Noah Beck and he's jealous. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's a hottie. You seen those abs, Keemstar? I would call that a fraud. Yeah, don't forget to ask Ja Rule what he thinks, Keemstar. But he's a walking, talking commercial. He's not a real person. He's fake. Okay, you know, okay don't watch. Brands. <laughs> he's got. <laughs> What's with the laughing? It's so <laughs> fake and Ugh, freaky. It's so awkward. But like, <laughs> hello, people have been brand friendly since the beginning of, of time. Nothing has changed, my dude. Nothing. It's the same as it ever was. There's people who are a problem, and there's people who are family friendly. It was always that way. And I think he's just mad that people are realizing that one aspect is that Keemstar is not family friendly. In fact, 
He's family friendly, like the same way Charles Manson is. I mean, not that he's Charles Manson, but he, he, you know what I'm saying? Like, he is that level of toxic for your brand. I think he's family friendly, more like how R. Kelly is family friendly. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. I'm going to pee on you. Yes, I do. Drip, drip, drip. <laughs> You know, and nothing's changed, bro. You're just old as fuck. You're nobody likes you. He's complaining about the same shit people were complaining about five years ago. Yeah, it's old man yelling YouTube, at clouds, man. YouTube is not sending notifications. Exactly. We'll get to that. Give me the old man yelling at clouds meme. That's that's become you, bro. God, I'm so. Is this what skims are? Uh, it's not warming yeah. my body. <laughs> it's well, a similar kind of thing. This is not it. It's similar <laughs> material, but I think Skims is supposed to be like. Is this supposed to make firmer. you skinny, legend? Not this. No. You do look like a skinny legend. <laughs> Every really? day, all day. All day. Mm -hmm. That's right. Well, thank you. So you're are you saying I don't need Skims? <laughs> no. <laughs> skinny Absolutely ledge? Not. Look at my gut. Skinny legend. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> anyway, old man yells at clouds. Anyone? <laughs> Literally. I just want to show the meme, you know? Do a little trolling like that. This is Keemstar. Damn, really? This is what you sent me, A.V.? <laughs> A.V. sent me this. And Dan sent me this one with the <laughs> newspaper. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you, want it, you, want it, you want it fast? You... <laughs> You want a certain resolution? I'm trying here. I just AV did that. Everyone saw that. I know, Lord. He acknowledged it. <laughs> yeah, so old man yells at clouds. Uh, that's Game Star. Thank you. All right, moving on. How to protect those brand deals. But it, this isn't a single out Noah Beck. This is everywhere, right? This is all YouTubers. This is all influencers. Well, most of them. Uh, so. What happens is when nobody speaks their mind and everyone's a commercial, uh, there's not really that much entertainment. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> don't complain. No. Deaf Noodles makes a video every day. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? By the way, you know what's so funny? Keemstar, who's complaining that there's no news because nobody's entertaining, didn't make one video about the Trisha and me breakup exactly. because he didn't want to fucking uh, compliment me or cover me in any way because mm -hmm. uh, it made me look good, I guess, uh, people would would say. So that's the, that very, therein lies the problem with Keemstar. He doesn't report on things of people that he dislikes that mm -hmm. will make them look good. And he will over-report bad things on people he dis. It, it, he doesn't know how to just make the news. Everything for him is just petty, uh, pathetic beef. I yeah. fucked up! Entertainment. In entertainment, uh, you need drama. You know, think of the Avengers without drama. Think of the Avengers without a bad guy. This is real life, you absolute <laughs> fucking shit stain. You don't, you're not supposed to create drama and lie to people's he's real always, lives. He's always got this excuse of like, I'm the bad guy, like entertainment bad guy. It's like, no, you're just a bad guy. Right. In real life. I only play a bad guy on, on, on YouTube. But that's the dude. This is not Marvel Avengers. These are people's real lives. You don't create drama. Do you understand how fucked up what you're saying is? I right. You need some back and forth. You need some battles. You need you need you need conflict. Right. That's a core part of entertainment. Not all entertainment, but in general, entertainment and that just doesn't happen anymore. Okay. Bye. Retire. With uh, the cancel culture stuff, with the ripping sponsors away and attacking a YouTuber's sponsor. It used to be this huge no-no. If you did that, like, you were the one that got canceled. You, cannot, now no. you cannot say that when you invented this whole thing. Yeah. Keemstar has been the one canceling people for years before anyone else was doing it. Also, um... Just, like, stop saying it. Yeah, he's a fucking liar. And also, he's the one... Watch this. Uh, where's the clip? Def Noodles always shows it of Keemstar back in like 2017 talking about an esports team and listing off all their sponsors and encouraging. He's people done to, it so many times. Yeah. There's so many times. Yeah, exactly. It's You've been doing it well before anyone other did. Fuck face. Roll it. 
<laughs> it's acceptable. Now it's like normal thing. Like if someone gets in trouble, let's email the sponsor. Like that's a normal thing. I don't know how that happened. I mean, it ask yourself, bro. So you got to find that clip of him. Yeah, thank you so much. I don't know how that happened. Wasn't he like tagging my sponsors on Twitter? Or he was doing something like or that. You, like, I don't know, just, but he also, did it to some people losing girl. their sponsors because of controversy is not. It's like the oldest in thing. any way a new concept. Like from no. the beginning of commercial advertising in entertainment, that has been a thing. Like it is not novel whatsoever. Like that well, is just what, such an. What also statement. is his his argument that that it's immoral for sponsors to leave someone who is like. Well, specifically Being for, offensive? To, to, to contact sponsors, but it's just like, it, boycotting is, like, that's all that is, is, is boycotting campaigns, and like, this is not something that was invented in the last few years. This has always existed, it's not new, it's just total nonsense what he's talking about. Hmm. Phase up. Phase the fuck up. <laughs> I sent it. <laughs> oh, you found it? Good. Yeah, so, just, just remember all he's saying. Oh, hold on. I got something important here. Old man yells at clouds. That's really good, Cam. <laughs> that looks, the beard is awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> um, here it is. Keemstar saying, I don't know what happened with contacting sponsors. Uh, where did this come from? Um, I don't understand. And another thing you did in this video is an absolute first for YouTube. You went after my sponsors. Oh, this is his about me. You went after my sponsors. Today we're going to be looking at <laughs> Soar Gaming. Now, Soar Gaming is a channel here with 618,000 subscribers. Many of these teams are big. They have lots of sponsors. And at the same time, they're being racist, homophobic, and trying to convince other children to kill themselves. That's right, encouraging suicide. Like, this like is hobos. never hey, happened he goes, before. He goes, these people are urging suicide by typing KYS. Imagine actually getting someone to do it. You might, someone might consider that actually but worse. it's happening now. And they are sponsored by Elgato, Loot Crate, Scuff Controllers, and Cyber Power PC. Nice you have breakdown. ushered in this yeah, new era where people that have beefs on each other go after their sponsors. And now let's look at some of the activity of the SOAR members. We have SOAR Sheen, I hope you get cancer. Sure rains. Get hey, wait, is this, does he drop the? Yeah, there might bomb? be. I was about to say. Mm, right. Yeah, this yeah. might be. Going he says that in like go. twenty Roll times it. in this clip, but you get the idea. Yeah. It threatens the entire entertainment, you know, community or whatever that we've built here, and that's no, another thing. It doesn't. Everyone's Back doing fine. Day. Literally, we're all fine. Our channel's doing great. I mean, peace and love. Knock on wood. No problems. Hey, you know. <laughs> When we talked about the community, felt like we knew everyone. Like it was a, it was a, it was an actual community. The community doesn't exist anymore. It's like so big. Not for you. Nobody wants to associate with you. I think you got cut out of the community. Why doesn't anyone want to be my friend? Huh? All my my best friend Leafy got banned. <laughs> my other best friend Grade A got fucking yeeted off the earth. I love how he knows the rules of YouTube so well, but he didn't warn his buddy Leafy to stop harassing a girl every video he put out. Yeah. What did he make, like 11 videos or 13 yeah, 11 videos or in a row about Pokemon? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it still doesn't amaze me that they're surprised that Leafy got banned. Like it was some grand conspiracy. When you make a vi 13 videos in a row, day after day, about one person. And about nothing. Absolutely nothing. Also like super inflammatory shit. Not like... Criticism, just really fucked shit. Big and so spread, you know. I I think back of uh, stories. Um, what was the name of those guys? The these guys. I'll find it in editing. Remember, they got fine bros. What about? You them? couldn't remember their name. <laughs> like so like... spread, you know. I I think back of uh, stories. Um, what was the name of those guys? The. These guys, I'll find He literally just couldn't reshoot it or remember their names. Because I can't remember their names, but <laughs> death to these guys. <laughs> Maybe that's why no one watched your videos, because you don't, because you suck, and you don't reshoot anything, and you don't care at all. Find it in editing. Remember, they got canceled for something. Every
everybody talked Millions about. Everybody of now the story will happen. Jesus. <laughs> uh, hey, remember when Keemstar told told people, brigaded people on Twitter to say, to tell Ethan death to all Jews? You got that, uh, uh, Zach? What's happening? Death to all Jews. What are you doing? I'm trying to get my nipples to stand up. <laughs> oh. I'm trying to get my nipples nice and pointy for you, Hila. <laughs> and then Keem tried to say that that was an edited clip. He never said that. That oh, we made yeah. that. Yeah, then Death to all Jews. I think he got comment copped again. And then he had to make another video being like, I fucked up. That's what it's from. <laughs> or no, he said, so frustrating. Yeah. I did say that. Happen, and only that group of fans or care about that story. You know, we're not knit together like we used to be. And part of the problem is we don't have you a... You know what's the problem? Is that you start writes letters to YouTube to get people suspended, banned, demonetized when they say anything about him. Don't you think that's hurting the community? You fucking hypocrite. Like... Well, you don't care about the community. You literally just confessed that you were about that you were gonna flag that dude's channel. Dude, what a douche! A, a flourishing commentary community, right? We used to have a commentary community where everybody was talking about the same thing, and that commentary. Yeah, we moved on, bro. I don't have to tell you. <laughs> Maybe it's time for you to move on too. I think we might Community need to has move on from this video. Really? It's disappeared and they're all making long form like documentaries because the longer on. videos, the mm -hmm. more watch time, the more they'll get promoted and the algorithm and blah, 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 blah. So you're left with uh, the T channels and the T channels have no credibility. Hate the caught T lying channels. and bullying and harassing. <laughs> no, okay. Oh my God. Okay, Kim. How is that any different? <laughs> I love his war with the T channels. Sing, more they'll get promoted in the algorithm and blah, 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 blah. So you're left with uh, the T channels, and the T channels have no credibility. You are a T channel. Caught lying and bullying and harassing. Oh How is uh, you still going to talk about credibility? Bullying and harassing? And, oh he is God. the T. Oh, I have a nipple cam? Show me that. Nice. That's why you're canceled. He is a T channel. They learned it from you, Dad. <laughs> no <laughs> self awareness. Uh, non stop, but there's so many of them that they kind of control the narrative. Oh, no, he's lost control of the narrative. Yeah, the narrative is we don't like you. It's just a mess. It's a giant mess, all right? It's just a, a giant mess of it's not almost fun. fun Ila. No, it's not. I think it's back on the time. No, I mean, like, he just Four start, minutes out of he, get, he starts talking about how he wants to find a replacement and stuff. Like, I don't care about that. The part that I want to watch <laughs> is almost done. I'm where there were diss tracks, right? And people were making diss tracks back diss and forth. Tracks that was, was the golden age of YouTube, according to <laughs> Fun. We don't have that anymore. You know, if I go back and fun. I look at, um, you know, we have Drumbler DM where you guys can tip us off on news. And we look through that and it's like you're trying to me too every single YouTuber for something. Right. And a lot of you them are guilty. need to be called out. Don't get me wrong. That you literally did that. Trying to me too, everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Basher, he did. He me too that guy straight into like madness. Um, Def had a good point. He's like, wait, are you saying that you're getting, like, allegations of sexual impropriety in your DMs and ignoring them? Because <laughs> that's what it sounds uh, like. But, like, that's the only thing anyone cares about anymore. It's like, there's no, where is the fun, you know? <laughs> Me too. Where is the fun? Like, dish tracks. <laughs> there's not much fun left in the community from the perspective of drama. It's always something to pull on the emotions of the audience, of the viewers, get them emotionally angry so they form a mob and then use them to attack someone. That's like that's what, what you I do see for a living. He these other YouTubers doing nonstop. And the guy's um, lost it. It's totally lost sad. It. It's pathetic. It's not Fun. You are sad, pathetic, and not yeah, fun. Yeah, you know what's not fun? This bye video. Bye-bye. <laughs> this video is everything you said. This video is sad, <laughs> pathetic, and not, and not fun. fun. Last thing I want to watch, And you, honestly. my friend. Let's read some more comments. Let's see. 
You think it could be that bad in the public? Well, I just I meant for Ian to not leave it on screen oh. as we scroll, because you never know what you're going to get. This guy finally realized how sad he is and how much his life he's wasted on other people's business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Keemstar complaining about the exact same thing he has done and still does to this day. Exactly. I've been waiting for this day for a long time. This uh -oh. is the... This is, oh shit. Uh oh. Oh no. <laughs> Dear Susan, <laughs> I have one final request. I've announced I'm retiring. And before I want, before I go, please give Ethan's channel a strike. He made fun of me today. And it wasn't fun. I'm not having fun. People don't like me. If you could please implement a role where you're not allowed to make fun of Keemstar, I might be able to stay. <laughs> Susan. Susan, can I make fun of Jews? Just for the fun. Wait, Susan, are you Jewish? Oh shit, don't Google my name and anti-Semitism. <laughs> <laughs> Susan is Jewish, right, Wojcicki? I think so. I don't know. Don't tell, don't send Susan the death to all Jews video. I didn't get the memo. The, the Jewish uh, propaganda that we're supposed to Right, get. right, right. But on my way out, I'm thinking of starting my seventh channel, Susan. My other five were banned <laughs> for being a shitbag. I was thinking of doing live readings of Mein Kampf on my new seventh channel. <laughs> And telling all my readers to go send quotes of Mein Kampf to Ethan Klein. Which is basically what I've already done on Twitter. Oh yeah, cancel culture is ruining YouTube, Susan. I have a final solution, though. <laughs> I'm formulating it right now. My, new, my seventh channel will be called... Mine beard? I don't know. Not that good. Face up. <laughs> mine. What would be mine calm for Kingstar? Mm. No push shit. <laughs> oh, what is this? This is one of Keem's Dear videos he put out shortly after he did the podcast with Trisha, where he's trying to do his whole villain shtick and saying, I will be the last man standing. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is a I understand great way that you're very Here, play, the, play the sad music, Zach. <laughs> I just want to point out he's in the shower with a hat. This is after he put out the picture of being in the pool with a hat. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's and, like, it's like he's trying to hide something. <laughs> no way. You want revenge. Misspelled my last name, by the way. You think <laughs> you think I've after all the time he spent thinking about me, he would know how to spell my last name? For all the folders he's got with your name. Mm. K L E I N Q Star. I know because when you attacked me and said a bunch of horrible stuff that wasn't true. Really, name like one. What? No, no. Name one. Like what? <laughs> he's never been able to name one. He thing. just always <laughs> says that. Yeah. <laughs> What is it? Well, what? it's like that Trumpian thing where it's like, I just say this, even though I'm the one that does that, mm -hmm. which I've proven exhaustively. I'm trying to ruin my reputation. You've done that. Trying to tell everyone that I was an asshole when I already have a reputation for being an asshole. So what's the problem? Got him. I thought that would ever work. So then how does it ruin your reputation? <laughs> yeah, what's the problem? You ruined my what's life. What's the problem? <laughs> you ruined my life. Dude, you're recording a video in a bathroom. With a hat on. Hasn't. Don't talk about that. Everyone knows I'm an asshole. They're still subscribed. They're still watching. So then what did I do to you? <sighs> Such a bad play. He's also kind of whispering. Like, I wonder Come if he was supposed to be hanging out with people. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he was hanging out with people he or his away. daughter, maybe? Because this was in LA, right? When he came with his girlfriend? Yeah. I believe so, yes. Because it was shortly after the Or he was just hiding from his girlfriend not to look so pathetic. Yes. Because like, she's probably like... Dude, stop. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just running to the bathroom. They're watching a movie together. Dear Ethan Klein, <laughs> I'm the real villain who's gonna win. <laughs> They're watching a movie, and so he runs into the bathroom, misspells my name. 
That's exactly what happened. Maybe that's why he's whipping his head so fast, too. He's midway talking and goes like that. It does seem like he's whispering a little bit. He is. Yeah. It's awesome. I mean, the bathroom is like the worst place sound wise. Yeah, yeah absolutely. It's the worst place yeah, to make a video. Reverb. Absolutely. <laughs> there was never an out for you. I guess ignore, but that's not who you are. You can't ignore. What are you just, even saying? So just weird. visualize his girlfriend sitting in the other room like... She can hear just Ethan Klein. <laughs> yeah, babe, I'm taking a shit. Be out soon. Ethan Klein. That move. <laughs> That's just not who you are. So, babe, like, do we have any plans for our stay here in L.A.? Um, it's Valentine's Day, Daniel. <laughs> and you're just thinking about Ethan again. I'm his real Valentine. <laughs> Sorry, Ela. I didn't accept, by the way. Right. Do not accept. <laughs> I did, though. I just sat in the back and kept quiet. And you got frustrated that you weren't getting the results that you wanted. So you I don't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> I think it's the week that you got suspended. Oh, yes, I, think it, was... I think it all happened together. You got suspended. I don't know if I ever even saw He was this. in L.A. Trisha did the podcast with them. He was with the 20 year old girlfriend. It was all that one it epic It all came week. together for him. Yeah, he was in the pool with his shirt. <laughs> this was yeah. W's after W's, was W's when he tweeted that. After W's after W's. <laughs> Actually, that was kind of like the week where it all fell apart. Yes. Ironically, because that was Aiden Ross. <laughs> yes. The Trisha podcast was like, looked horrible for everyone. Yeah. And I think that was like, and then the 21 year old girlfriend, that was like L star. That was yeah. the, that was like the Bermuda Triangle yeah. of fail. And the the jersey and the in the pool. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The right. jersey and the hat in the pool. I seen a post on Reddit yesterday of that picture of them, <laughs> Trisha and Keem, on the podcast, and they're like, "Man, how their, how their lives changed since this moment." <laughs> yeah. It's true. They they well, you know what they did? They did like. <sighs> It's just such a cursed photo. <laughs> really? Yes. And they just, you know, they're both crossed. They really crossed the line. <laughs> Push it farther and farther and farther to the point where you're breaking YouTube's terms of service. Why are you whispering? I mean, it was funny to watch. Thank you. It was funny to watch, but I had to report it. I simply just had to. <laughs> <laughs> and I admit it. I admit that I was writing emails. But now that I realize it looks back, I deny it. Even though the <laughs> evidence is there of me saying, I was writing emails. I was tweeting Susan. <laughs> but it was funny, though. I'll give you that. <laughs> Thank you. But I don't see a W for you. Damn. I really don't. Hmm. <laughs> We're at the point now where you're in trouble with YouTube. This is so weird. Your family, like your actual family. Daniel, are you still taking a dump? Yeah. <laughs> Daniel, it's <laughs> Valentine's Day. I'll be out in a second. I'm, the movie's been paused for 10 minutes. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be right out. Daniel, I can't live like this. <laughs> it's been like a week of them days. We're here for two days in he's LA. Like, he's like, five more minutes. I'll take you to Chuck E. Cheese. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take you to your Make favorite, you. baby. <laughs> and meanwhile, through the cracks, just like, Ethan, you thought you got a W. <laughs> but you really got an L this time. The children's place is open till 8, babe. <laughs> I just, this is so weird. Yeah, I don't think I even watched this. I don't remember. Maybe I did. I don't see any win for you. Okay. <laughs> this is the third and final offer. Wait, offer? I'm offering peace. Oh, peace? Oh, There's no point. It's quite exhausting, really. It's been a lot of fun. Wait, this what week. does he mean, peace? What do you want <laughs> I from don't me? Know. Peace. <laughs> well, remember how it ended his video on Drama Alert? He goes, uh, Good luck, Ethan. You're gonna, You're gonna fucking, fucking need, need it. it. Epic. But it's quite exhausting. But I fully intend to play this game to the absolute end if you don't make peace. And I will be the I last don't know one what standing. That, I don't know what that means, make peace. Um. I'm doing I guess that was like two months ago, so... Okay. so I guess we've reached the end. Watch the beef, you what? know? Well, I'm not, all I'm doing is doing what you do. I'm reporting on the news. You're a current event, and I'm talking about it. What beef is there to squash? Unlike you, I don't curate what I talk about based on who I like and don't like. You're in the current events, and I'm just talking about you. There's no fucking beef. Well. So frustrating! <laughs> 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 no! 
<laughs> There's no beef. I'm just talking about him. Did you hear? He'll be the last man standing. He said. Yeah. He said that. Yeah. Here, here we are, two and months that, later. Th 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 I don't. I just don't think about things like that. I'm not thinking like, uh, is Keemstar destroyed today? Yes. Or no. <laughs> I'm just doing my fucking job, enjoying my life. I rec recommend you do the same thing. It's quite exhausting, really. It's been a lot of fun this week, but it's quite exhausting. But I fully intend to play this game to the absolute end if you don't make peace. And I will be the last one standing. Okay. Without a shadow of doubt. I don't, this is what I do for a living. I mean, I don't, what do you mean, dead or on YouTube? What, <laughs> what does that mean, he'll Oops. be the last person standing? Like, like, like um, he wouldn't know. your channel is gonna Like, you'll be gone off the internet. he'll be still here. Yeah. Yeah. Squid game. But I, he's the one who's <laughs> literally Sorry, retiring. It, it means the exact opposite of what's happening right now. Yeah. Of reality. <laughs> but what's interesting is, like, he could keep making videos. I know his views are down and probably feels bad, whatever. But he could... Just not retire. Like, right. that's just him saying, I am done. That's the thing about all these people complaining about cancel culture. It's like, well, make videos. I mean, you still got your channel. Exactly. He's just taking the L. His self imposed L. <laughs> Without a shadow of doubt. This is what I do for a living. Drop okay, me fighting. too. This <laughs> is my sport. This is my video game. If, you, if this is your sport, bro. Do you think he wrote this before? You're Just this the part, the end. It's, he probably no. did a few takes for he sure. He thought about I it. I think he's got that like R. Kelly genius of uh, coming up with the. <laughs> oh, did you get your spot. passwords? Yeah. <laughs> he's, just vamping. he's a he's a mad evil genius at being evil. He's an improv king. Mm -hmm. And I'm a fucking MLG pro. Okay, well, you're retiring. <laughs> <laughs> you just, I didn't do that. He retired himself. Oh, that was great. God. That, I'm oh, glad we watched that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, hold on. I'm Another miss him. thing, because I've been a YouTuber for such a long time, is, you know... Back in the day, all Back right, in I the had a day. Fan base that subscribed to my channel and they would go to their sub box and be like, oh, a drama. Back in the day when I could date 21 year olds without it being super weird. <laughs> those were the good old days. Our <laughs> video and go watch it, right? But then YouTube changed oh, some well, things, here he's right? Complaining they about uh, said, well, yeah, we yeah. have to watch this. You gotta turn the bell on, right? You gotta turn you this gotta notification turn bell on, on if you want notifications for that channel. Oh, okay. All right. So we started telling people to turn the notifications on. Then they added another layer. Well, if you want all notifications, you gotta select the all button. Uh, okay, YouTube. All right. All right. So that was their third, you know, stage or whatever of trying to separate the creator from their fan base, right? Make the That's what they fans want. go through yeah, three really days. You gotta sub, you gotta turn the bell, you gotta select all big financial right? incentives. They're trying to, they're trying to um, protect the viewers from shitty content like yours showing <laughs> up on their feed. Look at my nips just pointing straight down, man. Keemstar makes my nips droop. <laughs> <laughs> when I'm not watching Keemstar, when I'm watching oh, Keemstar. No. <laughs> oh, this is <laughs> <so> sad. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is the same shit that YouTube has been bitching about for, like, a decade. The truth is, with the subscribing and the bells and all this shit, nobody knows how it works. YouTube curates content based on um, how users use the platform, how people, how long people watch it, how frequently people click your videos. It's a complicated um, algorithm, AI, run by AI. And clearly, basically, the, basically, it's very simple, effectively. It's if people click and watch your videos when they're shown it, they'll show it to them. If they don't, they don't. And so I hate to say it to you, but I don't think people will just won't, don't want to watch your fucking videos, bro. Damn. Then they started pushing Harsh. recommendeds. All right. Now. When I go to YouTube.com, I get recommended videos that I want to actually see. And, you know, I think the recommended thing is awesome, right? Oh. I use it all the time. All the right. problem is, all right, the people I sub to, the, the, the people that I made a, you know... Uh, because you don't click their videos. Yeah. Sometimes you sub to channels and you don't ever watch their videos. So why should YouTube keep showing you their videos? They're trying to maximize watch time. It makes sense. People don't want to watch your videos, bro. It's not rocket science. 
a decision, a conscious decision in my head. I want to watch this person. I don't no, see their don't. videos anymore. No, you don't. You don't want to watch that person. It's actually not. I'm... I don't even know who I'm subscribed to, but anyone exactly. I subscribe to is probably like from years ago. Exactly. The sub the sub feature is so um uh, I want to say uh, uh what's the word? obsolete. And because first of all, so many people are subscribing to like a gazillion channels, there just needs to be a better way to curate it. And anyway, you always have the sub feed, dude, which is not curated. Because YouTube is sending me the videos. You re recommend it. Look at all these thumbnails. Look at all this other stuff that you're interested in. Exactly. And that causes me to be distracted and click on a video. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> you, they show you what they know you want to watch, <laughs> which isn't, which in some, it's not your content. That I wouldn't have normally watched because YouTube is feeding me. So this is how it works. <laughs> Say Keemstar has a subscriber. It's funny. He's describing it. In a way that they would probably be happy to hear. Makes They're sense. Like, yeah, that's what we're that's what we're trying to do. But <laughs> exactly. it's not nefarious. He's trying to make it sound like malicious. Right. If somebody subscribed to you, Keemstar, and they show you your video on their homepage and recommended sidebar thirty times, and they don't click it one time. They're getting the signal. This guy does not want to watch Drama Alert, so they're not going to keep showing it to that person, knowing they don't want to watch it. So the viewers have lost control on who they watch and who they sub to, and YouTube has full control, you know, of what you viewers are watching. Let me ask you a question. How many times have you guys had to manually go type in Dromler to watch a video? Never. You know, I wonder but if also, Keemstar uploaded. Like, what do you think is happening everywhere else? TikTok, yeah, Instagram, one. Facebook, they're even worse. Right. <laughs> All right, I'm over it. Yeah. Old man yells at clouds. You guys, so I in summary, we have one more to watch. Oh, this is, oh God, don't forget this tweet, Hila. Kimstar tweeted this about himself. This is right after the shower oh video. Oh my God. Wait, the shower video? The one we just watched of him in the shower? Oh, right. Oh, this is him watching me get owned? Yes. Oh, cringe. See, he, he. This is why you, this is why you lost. You look so cringe. pathetic. He posted so cringe, cringe. Oh my God. But, also, Cersei lost just. Spoiler alert. Just uh, <laughs> dude, Cersei uh, killed herself and her family. For one, but that's this is this actually is a really like, good analogy. This is painful because he he did something for like a temporary W report me, but obviously it backfired tremendously because it was such a dumb thing to do. And God, these nips are drooping. By basically just gave us a vacation in the yeah. long run. You know, all that yeah. really came of that. Thanks for the week off, dude. <laughs> You're still standing next high. It's a really good analogy. It really is, actually, in the end.